Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get amazing close-up macro photographs of spiders such as this one. So if you want to get super close-up macro photos of really anything, all you're going to need is a digital camera and a Raynox clip-on macro lens to put onto the front of it. You can get amazing quality photographs. So. I'm going to show you what this lens looks like right now. So I'm using a Canon PowerShot digital camera and onto the front is a Raynox lens made in Japan and this is an amazing lens. I've been using it for years for my macro photography and this is the DCR 150 model. I recommend the 250 model but they both do almost the same exact thing. It's just a different uh, focus point or you know different sharpness it's hard to describe but all this does is it clips onto the front of your digital camera make sure that the lens fits before you buy the camera Canon power shots so far all of them have worked that I know of and then all you have to do is zoom in on whatever insect you're trying to photograph so let me clear this out and set your camera to AV mode in manual focus and then just focus in on your target on the insect that you're trying to photograph and zoom in as far as you want and snap your photos once you get the right focus I recommend focusing in on the eyeballs and that'll you know, allow the rest of the body to be a little bit blurry, but you'll be able to see what the spider's face looks like, which I believe is the most important part. So if you want to zoom in even closer, so this is full optical zoom for the Canon PowerShot SX40HS. This is 35 times zoom. However, with the newer models, you can get much higher zoom up to 65 times. So as you can see, my shot's blurry. To solve this, I simply pull the tripod and the camera back towards me and as you can see it gets into focus and then using my manual focus I just correct it and as you can see full zoom you get this amazing view of the spider and you can also zoom out and focus in on the the spider's fangs that's also another cool part of the spider but if the eyes are blurry then the rest of the shot kind of gets ruined so that is how easy macro photography is. Of course, these shots work well too. So at this point, now that we got a few good shots in focus of the spider, what I would recommend is simply zooming out and then finding a different angle to get your shots from because the same shot from the same angle gets boring really quickly. So what I think I'm going to do is I actually scared the spider a little bit so he changed positions so this makes for a cooler shot now so all I'm gonna do is zoom in back so you can see he opened up his front legs as sort of like a warning to any predators so I'm gonna get focused zoom in pull my camera back and I'm gonna get my shot. So that's how easy close-up macro photography is. The further closer you want to zoom, the further backwards you're gonna to have to move your camera. So it's kind of a strange thing to get used to but once you get adjusted, you can get, as you can see all of my shots so far have just been excellent and there's literally millions of different species of insects that you can photograph and this camera is really cheap 100 to 150 on eBay used you can get a newer model for more expensive with better features better zoom but this is where this is where it all happens with the Raynox clip-on lens from made in Japan DCR 150 or 250 model I recommend the 250 Clip it onto the front of your camera and you're good to go to get super close up macro photography.